Hey, YouTubers out there. Today, I'm actually going to be talking about the Apple Watch Series 4 uh, that I had purchased recently. Um, I've got nothing but great things to say about it. Uh, I originally purchased this, believe it or not, for myself, uh, 44 millimeter. Um, and uh, um, I got actually a call at night um, from my brother, and he said that uh, the paramedics were taking my dad to the hospital. Uh, he's 91. Um, saying they did an AFib, so they checked checked it uh, in the ambulance, um, and he was going to the hospital. So I quickly ran out to the hospital, um, got there, and they said, you know what, we're not going to be able to really check uh, the electrocardiogram for a few hours. Um, and I was sitting there with the watch on my hand, and I said, you know what, Dad, let's throw it on your wrist, and let's see what this thing can do. We threw it on his wrist, and I tell you what, it was able to detect within 30 seconds all he needed to do was put it on his left wrist and touch the crown there very lightly. It read it and it said he was an AFib and it had a complete report where I could actually export it out and I'll show you that a little later. Um, but just amazing, I mean, how quickly we could get those results. Uh, so when I you know, saw that and I saw what this thing could do, I'm like, wow, this would be great um, for folks that are getting up there in age. Um, it's hard for them to monitor you know, their heart rate and you know, who's got an EC electrocardiogram at home, right? Um, before you need a lot of different, uh, it costs you quite a bit of money to have that in there. But uh, what happened is he was able to get blood thinners, get things down. We got him home and I said, you know what, dad, here's the, the Apple watch. I want you to go ahead and wear this uh, as much as you can because you do have to charge it occasionally. But I said, go ahead and wear this. And uh, what I want you to do is check your ECGs maybe three times a day. And then what's cool is it's automatically the watch is checking every, I believe, three to five minutes his heart rate so while it's on his wrist it's constantly checking things um so um that's huge i mean who's going to be checking that constantly right so if it goes under 40 beats per minute i believe that's that's set as, as a um, default um, it's going to go ahead and alert him on a watch if it goes over certain uh, beats per minute as far as a fast heart rate it's going to go ahead and also alert him um, and then, uh, you know, he can also check the ECGs and see, make sure that he has a sinus rhythm versus AFib, right? I mean, otherwise, I mean, if folks get up their age, who's going to be monitoring this stuff, right? I mean, this is a huge thing. Um, and I think it's just going to get better as time goes on. I wish it, the darn thing did blood pressure because that would be awesome too. <laughs> I mean, because that's a pain in the butt right now having to take all that. Hopefully down the road, they can figure something out with that. But um, just so far, we've been using it. It's been great. Um, we we're able to see all the information in there. I'm going to show you here a little later in the video, um, actually breaking down his results, what he sees during the day and, and things like that. But uh, um, it also has fall detection. So with the fall detection, you will have to, they will have to have a cell phone, you know, an iPhone, etc., cetera, uh, connected to it. Actually, you don't need it connected to it. You can actually get the one with the built-in uh, phone, um, the cellular built-in. So you could probably just get that. It's a little extra money. Um, but it's got the fall detection. It'll call, you know, 911 emergency services if they fall. It detects that fall, things like that. So I mean, I mean, it's these things are awesome. Uh, great for folks getting up there in age. But uh, there is one caveat, though. I do want to tell you, my parents have a flip phone, like a lot of folks do, right? Um, so the bummer here is that you know all the alerting will do it. It'll it'll work on the phone without. I mean, not the phone, but the watch. All the alerting will work on the watch. Um, but if you don't have the phone there, you don't get the history and things like that. Not until you connect it to that watch. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, my parents do have a Mac laptop. It'd be nice if they had an application that would, you know, like the, the um, heart uh, um, application on the, the Mac so they could connect to that, maybe Bluetooth, something like that. Hopefully they could, they see this video and they could change something and add it for them, but it'd be nice. But I can tell you this, uh, this Apple watch is Pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the video of uh, the actual results of what we saw. So here, hold, check, check on, check on this. You can see, and you can scroll down here, and we can see the electrocardiogram. So we see the sinus rhythms. That's what you normally see right here, right? All looks good. And then what you can do is you can also export this out to PDF or whatever you have. You can see that message, mail, all that good stuff is right here for you. So driving it back, uh, looking here at ECGs, I can see. Uh, an atrial fibrillation. That's when I told you earlier that my dad went into it. We could see the results of that. And it's pretty drastic right here. Um, seeing how it's completely all over the place, right? So that is really cool. It gives me the time information right there, time stamps for everything for the uh, atrial fibrillation. Taking it back now, a couple levels. 
what we can see here is if we scroll back, we can also see the um, heart rate information. So we've got a max 104, 49 that day. Here I've gone through the month. We can take a peek. What we got here is actually breakdowns, right? The variations per day. So we can see 49 to 104, recent day. And then here I can actually see the sampling times and when it's doing its sampling and what the beats per minute was at the particular time for very, very consistent, constantly monitoring that uh, the heart rates, which is cool. So that's a really neat feature here. Um, also the very heart rate variability, it throws it in here, right? So I can see that over the month, how many milliseconds it's variated. And then here you can see the, um, the differences here. So it's got the actual timestamps that are recorded there, 49.04, 49.04, 49.04, 49.04, 49.04, 49.04, 49.04, 49.04, 49.04, 49.04, 49.04, 49.04, 49.04, 49.04, 49.